Okay, hello everyone. Uh, in this lecture, we will continue with the previous lecture on white box testing, especially dynamic symbolic executions. More specifically, conclic testing and execution generated testing. So let's start with this lecture. And if you have any question about this lecture, please ask me through iCampus or send me an email. Today, I will start with a brief review of concrete testing, one of the main dynamic symbolic execution approaches we learned last time. Also, I will briefly explain what SMT server is because some students asked about SMT server. So then in the lecture, in this lecture, I will explain how execution generated testing works, which is another major approach for dynamic symbolic execution. Finally, I will introduce some well-known two open challenges of dynamic symbolic execution, which are past explosion problem and expensive constraint serving cost. Okay, most of you don't know what SMT server is. So have you ever heard of this term? Uh, actually, SMT server is the one of the most important techniques in recent uh, computer science. So I will briefly explain how SMT server is used in the context of white box testing. The term SMT, serve, SMT is an abbreviation of satisfiability modular theories. So this SMT server takes a single formula app as an input and checks whether this formula app is satisfiable or unsatisfiable. Let me explain what the meaning of satisfiable and unsatisfiable is by using an example. So suppose uh, that a formula F, which consists of Leon variable P and Q is given. Uh, here, the formula F is satisfiable if and only if there exist P and Q values such that F is true. Uh, conversely, F is unsatisfiable if and only if there are none of P and Q values such that F is true. So for example, this is very simple case. So is this Boolean formula F, which is the conjunction of not P or Q and not Q, is satisfiable or unsatisfiable? So please answer this case. I will give uh, 10 seconds. Okay, the answer is that this formula is satisfiable. That is, there exist P and Q values such that the formula F is true. And when the formula F is satisfiable, the SMT server also returns one of the satisfiable solutions. So in this case, uh, formula F can be true when the values of P and Q are both false. How about another formula F prime, uh, which is the conjunction of not P or Q and not Q and P. So is it a satisfiable formula or unsatisfiable formula? I will also give a uh, five second. Okay, in this case, there are none of P and Q values such that F is true. So this app prime uh, is unsatisfiable formula. Of course, 
SM server works the same for the other type of web app. So suppose that X and Y's are integer variable, and is this formula is satisfiable, where the formula is the conjunction of X is equal to two times Y, and X is also greater than Y plus 10. Uh, given this formula, SM server will return set or unset. So in this case, is it satisfiable or unsatisfiable? Uh, in this case, the formula is satisfiable and one of the satisfiable solution is 30 for X and 50 for Y. Uh, however, note that ascent servers learning in real world program can take a uh, formula app as input and it returns another answer, I don't know. Uh, for example, when given a formula containing external core such as secure hash, or given a very complex formula with nonlinear constraint, a SMT server is not able to decide either satisfiable or unsatisfiable. So practical ascent server such as G3 uh, has third answer like I don't know or timeout. So in white box testing, ascent server is mainly used to generate a test case that satisfies past conditions in the programs. Okay, now let's review the concrete testing we learned last time. Uh, concrete testing systematically and automatically generate the test case by repeating the following four steps. First, it executes the target program with an initial random values such as X for 22 and Y for 7. And suppose that there are three branches B1, B2, B3 exercised by executing this initial input. The second step is to generate a pass condition. A pass condition is a sequence of branch conditions expressed by symbolic variable alpha and beta in this case. So for example, when the symbolic variables of X and Y are alpha and beta respectively, and B1 uh, can be formed as a condition that alpha is equal to two times beta. And the third step is to select a single branch to negate from among the three branches in the past conditions. Uh, and the reason why we negate a past a branch condition is because we aim to explore opposite side of the branches have been already explored like uh, the yellow arrow. So we want to go to opposite side of the branches. So suppose that we choose B2 among the three branches and then we feed a prefix of the past condition with the last branch condition negated, which is highlighted in red to the SMT server. In this case, we selected B2 to negate, so the past condition is the conjunction of B1 and not B2. And the SMT server generates a new input if the past condition is satisfiable. Returning to step one again, after executing program with this new input, uh, concurrent testing collects the past branches B1, B4, B5 by executing this new program pass. Also generate a pass condition for new program executions. 
and we choose one of the three branches b1 v4 v5 and we suppose that we choose b1 in this time then we negate the selected branch b1 and feed it back to the ascent solver and generate new input and execute the program with this new input in this way Home click testing systematically generate test case and explore the program path. Uh, this is the simplest algorithm to represent what has been described so far. This generic concrete testing algorithm takes as an input as a program P and an initial input vector. B0 and a testing budget N. And at line three, this concrete testing algorithm executes the program with an initial input V. Then it generates a pass condition, a large pi. As you can see, a large pi is a conjunction of N symbolic branch conditions, as you can see at a line five. And uh, at line four to six, it chooses a branch condition among candidate branch conditions in the past condition at line five. And it feeds the prefix the past condition with the last branch condition negated and to SMT server. And it checks, SMT server checks whether the prefix is satisfiable or unsatisfiable. If this formula is unsatisfiable at line six, and it selects another branch at line five again, and SMT server, uh, we feed its prefix to SMT server again, and SMT server checks uh, its satisfiability again. That is, this uh, algorithm iterate until a satisfiable viable formula is found at line five, four to six. And then at line seven, it generates a new input, which is satisfiable solution for a given task condition. And concrete testing repeat this process n times uh, and thereby generating test case by systematically exploring execution paths in the program. 